Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Arana. Today is the 27th of March, 2018. I'm going to read to you from John chapter 13, verses 21 to 33. It's a tragic story. Listen to it carefully. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, Do quickly what you are going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out. And it was night. And it was night. It was really a moment of terrible darkness when Judas leaves the inner circle of the Twelve and also betrays a man who has been his friend for three years. How terrible that must have been for Jesus. I mean, he knew it was going to happen and all, but to be betrayed by somebody you've walked with, talked with, broken bread with, or there is symbolism here in the breaking of the bread, by the way, shared so many things with, that must have been terrible. It must have broken his heart. I'm pretty sure that many of us have been betrayed by people we have trusted. Very often the betrayal is by someone we have given our heart to, and the hurt of that is tremendous. It tears you apart. But more often it is betrayal in financial matters. Greed, of course, is the main motivator. It drives people to do evil, wicked things. Judas seems to have suffered from the same sickness. However, while that might have contributed to his betrayal, it wasn't the main reason. He betrayed Jesus because Jesus wasn't the person Judas wanted him to be. It is the same reason many of us betray Jesus too. We expect him to be a certain way. We expect him to do what we want, and when he isn't and doesn't, we feel disillusioned and disappointed and walk out of him into the night. And that for us becomes our moments of terrible darkness. Brothers, sisters, if you have stepped out into the darkness, come back into the light. Jesus is calling you, and I promise you that he is going to bless you tremendously. Don't be with me.